Good afternoon and welcome to the Midday News here on CNC3 and the TBC Radio Network. I'm Bavita Kapol Chan. Thank you so much for joining us. Top of the news at this time. Mayoral Member of Parliament Rashtan Pari is seeking to clarify that his concerns over the UNC's internal elections are in no way an attack on the legitimacy of Kamala Prasad Visasa's political leader. Pari said his call for the internal elections to be held when it is constitutionally due in June of this year was a measured statement and not a vociferous attack on Prasad Visasa, as is being perceived by many. Powery said he also takes note of the support Pasad Bissas has received from fellow opposition MPs who said that there is one party and one leader. Powery said in no way did he suggest there should be more than one leader. Powery said his intention is to ensure the UNC is in the best shape possible to tackle the PNM in the next general elections. Meanwhile, Tabakid Member of Parliament Anita Haynes Allen says she supports the call for internal elections in the United National Congress. But the senior UNC member is stressing that calling for the internal election is not the same as supporting Mayor MP Rashan Pari or going against political leader Kamla Pasad Bisasa. She said she supports Kamla Pasad Bisasa because she's a duly elected political leader of the party. Now, speaking on the Morning Brew program this morning, Haynes Allen says internal elections is about putting forward the best candidates chosen by the party to contest the general election. To use your positions, to use any positions if you are currently on the executive, that you who would have benefited from an internal election to hold that position, to use that space and now say that internal elections are unnecessary, unwarranted or prevents us from 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 winning a general election when it's called. I think all of those things, that's a, a misuse of the space that you hold. She said even if the general election is called early, the United National Congress should be seen as resilient enough to survive both an internal election and a general election. She said the party should not be afraid of the internal processes since it should show strength within the party. The best way to show that you support Mrs. Passad Recessa is to also call for the internal election so that you can support her with your vote. Supporting her with her press release is inconsequential. The best way to show your support for a political entity is to be able to vote for them. So I think, I mean, after the weekend, we would have seen and heard a lot. Haynes Allen says she's not worried about any repercussions about her speaking out publicly. She says she's using her voice for positive change within the institution. Staying on the political front, the general election bell hasn't been rung yet, but already one candidate has put his name into the running. Political leader of the National Transformation Alliance, Gary Griffith, will contest the St. Joseph seat whenever it is called. In a release, Griffith said he was born and raised in St. Joseph and lived almost half of his life in that constituency. Even though Griffith and the NTA teamed up with the UNC for the local government election, but it's unclear if that alliance will go through to the general election. Moving on to some other news now, High Court Judge Frank C. Bizarre has ruled against a police commissioner in a court matter relating to the application of a firearm user's license. The claimant in this case is Fian Solomon, a Tobago businessman who said that he applied for an FUL license in 2017 and to date none has been issued. The police commissioner meanwhile said there is a large volume of applications and the department is understaffed. It was added that the COVID-19 pandemic contributed to additional delays. Justice Sipasad ruled that the police commissioner failed within a reasonable time in accordance with her statutory obligations to make a decision on the FUL application. Now, Justice Sipasad has issued an order to compel the commissioner to make a decision regarding Mr. Solomon's application within 28 days. The commissioner was also ordered to pay the claimant's costs. President of the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association, Martin Lumpkin, says there are many things the Education Ministry still needs to address and improve as the second school term comes to an end. Speaking on CNC3's The Morning Brew program, Lumpkin said there are a number of health and safety and internal issues the Ministry still needs to look at. Violence under discipline, infrastructural issues, we have SBAs coming up for our secondary school teachers. They are engaged in that as well, too. CSEC and CAPE is also coming up. Uh, well, within this term, the preparation for SEA, we have the bomb threats in the southeastern district. 
and there are myriad of uh, a myriad number of issues that our schools face and which challenges our educators. Lumkin added that the last they heard on the enrollment of migrant children was that the legislation is at the Attorney General's office, but he believes more attention on this issue should be given. We're still at the Attorney General's office. I don't know where at the Attorney General's office, if it is packed up in a, a corner, but we see these as, as important legislations that need to be addressed, and the government's legislative agenda should have that at the top priority in our, in our estimation. The second school term ended on Friday. It's time for a short break. We'll be right back with Sport News. Need a new ride now? Get pre-qualified for a vehicle loan at AnswerBank.com and win 0% interest for one year. Walk into Answer Bank's Road Ready event on Saturday, 13th April 2024. Sense of Excellence McCoya from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. to choose your brand new ride. Get access to multiple dealerships on site. Get pre-qualified at AnswerBank.com. Terms and conditions apply. Step out in trendy eyewear. Two complete pairs of single vision eyewear for $5.95. Upgrade to designer frames with progressive transition lenses for $15.99 or buy focus and transition lenses for $12.99. Stylish eye care that won't break the bank. Visit us at Seaview Optical. Colgate Total gives you a superior antibacterial protection for whole mouth health. It helps stop problems before they start. So your dentist ready. Mr. Walker. Oh, am I early? Be dentist ready with Colgate Total. Things don't always go as expected. Be ready with Trinry for auto, home, business, and group life. Call us at 800 Trin or visit trinry.com today. Huge insurance premium. Pay your premiums bit by bit with FlexiPay from Trinry. For more manageable auto, home, and commercial insurance payments, call us at 800 Trin or visit trinry.com today. Trinry. Premier insurance coverage for less. Shop and save at PRW Enterprises this Easter. Special on laptops from $2,000. Security 8-channel combo starting at $2,275. Save big on smart TVs starting at $1,688. Printer from $599. Camping tent, $200. Ring doorbell at $674. Call us today at 285-9779 or visit any or more five locations. Ncash is a mobile wallet that gives users the convenience of making digital payments. You can use Ncash with any local debit card or credit card to pay anyone and or any business on Ncash no matter who they bank with. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. Yes, I accept Ncash. I accept Ncash. I accept Ncash. Find businesses that accept Ncash with the nearby business feature. Visit Ncash.com to learn more. Download the app and create your wallet today. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. Sports are the 2024 Trinidad and Tobago Cricket Board Premier Division 1 champions after they draw against Power Gen in Sign Village on Sunday evening. The Felicity based team went to Penal needing just points to be assured of the title. While they failed to secure first innings points, they got the points needed with enough bonus points. They got the draw plus bowling points for dismissing Power Gen twice and batting points for their first innings score of 278. Congratulations to Central Sports. It's back to a break. We'll be right back. Unlock your mind's incredible capacity like never before. Introducing Advances Smart Plus, the groundbreaking solution that over time can help supercharge your memory, concentration, and unleash your mental performance. Our cutting-edge formula features an unparalleled blend of 13 clinically researched natural ingredients, 
Selected for its proven ability to work synergistically to help optimize brain function. Feel the difference now with Advances Smart Plus. Available at leading pharmacies and Pennywise nationwide. Colgate Total gives you a superior antibacterial protection for whole mouth health and helps stop problems before they start. So your dentist ready. Mr. Walker. Oh, am I early? Be dentist ready with Colgate Total. Arima Door Center, manufacturers of quality wooden panel doors, flush doors, pine doors, cedar doors, kitchen cupboard doors. Arima Door Center, located at number 4 Cleaver Road, Arima. Arima Door Center, made in TNT. Need a new ride now? Get pre-qualified for a vehicle loan at AnswerBank.com and win 0% interest for one year. Walk into AnswerBank's Road Ready event on Saturday, 13th April 2024. Sense of Excellence McCoya from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. to choose your brand new ride. Get access to multiple dealerships on site. Get pre-qualified at AnswerBank.com. Terms and conditions apply. Step out in trendy eyewear. Two complete pairs of single vision eyewear for $5.95. Upgrade to designer frames with progressive transition lenses for $15.99 or buy focus and transition lenses for $12.99. Stylish eye care that won't break the bank. Visit us at Seaview Optical. If you could see what the future holds, you'd see that while things change, you've still got it. You are strong, resilient, inspiring. And you won't be defined by time. You'll own every minute of it. Because you were made for more. Discover how Alive Multivitamins by Nature's Way help you age vibrantly. Colgate Total gives you a superior antibacterial protection for whole mouth health. and helps stop problems before they start. So your dentist ready. Mr. Walker. Oh, am I early? Be dentist ready with Colgate Total. In regional news, the president of Guyana and Suriname have instructed their respective officials to enter the next phase of the construction of a bridge over the quarantine river linking the two countries. The bridge is being regarded as a long-desired dream by both countries. The bridge is expected to be completed by 2026 and will promote trade and integration between both countries and other neighboring CARICOM countries as well. Today is a very busy day for former U.S. President Donald Trump in the court of law. The presumptive presidential nominee is expected in court today for a crucial hearing to determine what led to the delay in his criminal hush money. In a separate instance, Trump is also expected to submit a $464 million bond after both he and his family, along with the Trump Organization, were found liable for fraudulent business practices. And before we go, let's take a look at the weather forecast for this afternoon. Trinidad and Tobago will be generally hot and sunny, with a low chance of a few isolated showers. Seas are slight to moderate with waves 1.5 meters in open waters and below 1 meter in sheltered areas. The maximum forecast temperatures are expected to be 34 degrees Celsius in Trinidad and 32 in Tobago. Well, thank you so much for joining us for a look at the day's developments so far. We'll have these stories and so much more coming up for you in a major newscast at 7 p.m. today. In the meantime, have a great day.